All right, here's another demo from our team that combines Hoops Communicator with the Electron Framework to bring web browser-based technology to uh, different desktop operating systems as native, native applications. So we're going to open up a, a CAD file here, and let's open up this CATIA assembly. And at the same time, just to show you that we're still using um, web technology, we're going to open up our Chrome developer tools, and it shows the conversion of that CAD file using a part of Hoops, um, the Hoops web platform. It runs and leverages Hoops Exchange to read over 30 different CAD file formats, um, and then brings that in and, and uh, creates a streamable file uh, that can be streamed from a server, but in this case, that streamable file is just um, here on disk, and then we're able to read that in uh, into this this context. So it shows um, the results of that that conversion. We can do different things and drive Hoops uh, Communicator Web Viewer by um, changing different camera views or change it to let's say a perspective um, projection using the camera in a perspective mode. Or if I wanted to, I can change the different draw mode. So anything that you would see in Hoops Communicator. Um, is available here as as well in this native desktop application. Let's set that stuff back um, back to shaded with, with wires. Uh, but then I can use all of the debugging tools to access the JavaScript API of Hoops Communicator. So in this case, um, for each file loaded, there's a separate viewers. So, so here we have a viewer. And um, let's use the current context there. Let's just play around with this using the debug tools. So um, for each, each viewer, there's a view which controls how you're viewing that CAD data. There's also a model that is actually the, the assembly structure and gives you access to all the mesh data. But here we have the view. And let's say set simple and simple shadow enabled. And let's just set that to true. So I'll use the debugger tool there. And just I can set it with, within, within that if, if I wanted to. Um, but then, if I wanted to take that, roll it into the project, I could add it to, let's say, some of this user code, or I can edit the, uh, these are kind of like slots where you can run debug code within the project um, once I kind of isolate what type of um, coding I, I want to do. So it just shows that you can create a um, single code base and be able to deploy it uh, within the web context, but then also using the Electron technology, be able to package it in such a way um, that you can run it on a desktop app, a desktops like Windows, Linux, and um, Mac OS X.